Sometimes paintings are more than they appear, more than they appear to be. So what we have here is we have a mandala. We have a mandala painting, a circular uh, diagram. A mandala represents actually, uh, in Tibetan, the word is a kilkor, so it means a center and circumference. Now the center here means deities, uh, a central deity on a dais surrounded uh, often by other deities. And then it's within a square palace within a kind of a round um, um, universe. Sometimes it has pleasure gardens around it. If it's a wrathful deity, it'll be surrounded by the eight great cemeteries. If it's Kala Chakra, then it might be the 16 great cemeteries. Uh, so it depends on, on the mood of the deity as to the surrounding uh, um, adornments uh, and landscape. Now, this particular painting is, is one of very few um, and it represents a Yoga Tantra deity, a form of Manjushri called Dharma Datu Vagishvara, out of the Namasangiti Tantra. And it is, I think it's the first of the seven principal mandalas of the Namasangiti. It's not easy to keep all of the Namasangiti uh, deities and mandalas uh, clear in your head. Now, what's special about this painting is not necessarily the absolutely beautiful mandala and beautiful colors that are represented, but the top register has a series of figures, and then there are some other figures descending down the right and left sides. And these are all different forms of Manjushri. So this, this painting is actually, in fact, a compendium of different forms of Manjushri that come out of the Kriya, Charya and Yoga Tantras. Now most of them, I think 23 of them, are all peaceful. Now they can be one face, two armed, uh, white, orange, or yellow in color, or they can be one faced, uh, uh, four armed, six armed, three faced, six armed. And then we have three wrathful forms of Manjushri. And the wrathful forms of Manjushri in, in Tantra generally, doesn't matter what classification, but generally we call Yamari. Uh, Yamari is a, is a conqueror or, or defeater, killer of death. It's just a metaphor used for the wrathful forms of Manjushri. So we have three wrathful and the rest peaceful. And we also have... Uh, the one large mandala in the center, but then we have two slightly smaller uh, mandalas at the upper right and the upper left. And uh, this, the white comes out of the uh, Siddha Aikavira Tantra. Uh, it's the Arapachana Manjushri. And then the uh, one on the, on the viewer's left side, where it has an orange central figure and then a white, red, uh, green, and yellow, uh, this appears to be more the Manjushri Kalpa form. So we, we have just a really broad array of wonderful forms of Manjushri that are very helpful in the study when you're looking at just text, just reading Tibetan text or the Sanskrit uh, um, Sadhana Mala uh, uh, text of deities, it can be difficult to understand exactly what they mean or how they're depicted. But then when you find a painting such as this, and this painting is a 17th century, it's an early 17th century painting. We know that from an inscription along the bottom, from the donor figures, uh, from the donor uh, names, and uh, why the painting was made. So paintings like this are, are really a, a key to understanding iconography. And we have very few of them uh, that are so helpful with uh, depicting so many uh, forms of Manjushri.